Elizabeth, Elizabeth Master Thorne, 1832 to 1907. Elizabeth Master and Peter Thorne immigrated from Germany, go figure, and were married on September 1st, 1855. Coincidentally, the same day, the cornerstone was laid for the Evergreen Cemetery Gatehouse. The Thorns became the first family to live in the gatehouse when Peter was appointed superintendent of the cemetery in 1856. After Peter joined the Union Army, Elizabeth assumed his duties and served as caretaker from 1862 to 1865. With the help of her elderly father amid the heat and stench in the middle of July, Elizabeth buried 91 soldiers in the weeks following the Battle of Gettysburg. While six months pregnant, she dug the graves in one of the rockiest regions of the cemetery. Mind blown. Just amazing. The toll of war is something else, isn't it? Wars aren't just measured in casualties. It's another point that I've been trying sheepishly to make and, and again, probably not doing very well. takes a toll on everybody children are scarred for the rest of their lives fortunes are lost farms are destroyed people have to, to go digging up dead bodies in their backyards and again just because we're 160 years removed Times have changed, things look different. Rest assured, nothing is really that different. I still maintain we're we're we're, we're somewhere into a, a, a quiet civil war. Get away from the road. Let's go for a walk. I didn't want to do this, but uh you know, a, a quiet little civil war that is, um, you know, Bill Cooper could have predicted this, right? You know, silent weapons, quiet wars, silent revolutions, silent takeovers, silent great resets. This country is beginning now, beginning now to undergo drastic changes. Let me see if I can do this in six minutes because I've been trying to make this point for so dang long. The end of work is coming. The end of labor as we know it. For those of you who are just tuning in, it is my stance and my belief that labor was at the crux of the matter of the Civil War, not slavery in particular. Slavery was part of the labor equation. When the second great industrial revolution picked up, all of a sudden, we didn't have a lot of need for a lot of people in the fields. Hey, go figure. So the whole economic equation was about to be changed. The whole labor organization was about to be changed and slavery was a part of that. A part of that. Well, I don't know if anybody noticed since the Great Reset since 2020 and, and the big bad boogie woogie coronavirus. Okay, let me throw that out there. Might as well just firebomb, right? Since 2020, I don't know if people have noticed, but a lot of people have not been going back to work. They haven't been going back to work, not because they don't feel like it. Well, not... A lot of them anyways. Huh. 
So I'm trying to avoid people right now. We are undergoing another great technological revolution. If people haven't been paying attention, surrounded by gadgets, devices, wireless contraptions, this has done away with a lot of the need of for work. The guys, the guys, the ruse was a pandemic. But truth be told, we would be at the same place pandemic or no pandemic what the pandemic did was give these people cover yeah, it was pretty much the same thing during the civil war but a lot uglier and a lot bloodier the crux of our problems and our disagreements right now it's it's not the same old stuff you know it's not it's it's not north versus south anymore it's not you know republicans and democrats you know we're, we're, we're going undergoing another party schism uh, of which this this country has experienced you know a couple don't forget republicans were the good folks back during the time of the civil war right and who 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 was supporting the slavery if uh you know my memory serves all right well guess what we're undergoing another party schism this is an all an effort to confuse you and bamboozle you coronavirus the party schism you know the the good guys being the bad guys again and the bad guys being the good guys again haven't you people seen this before am i the only person who reads up on history not not just the civil war you know but just Harris out here pointing the finger at Trump like 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 Republicans are the only ones who have been uh, antagonizing the division and the animosity in the last few years. Are you joking? Are you kidding? Both parties are to blame. Both parties are culpable. You couldn't get me to vote. Go vote for one of these parties next week if you put a gun to my head. I would rather die. I would die before I step in another voting booth again. It is the true believers that end us up in places like this. The true believers, the zealots, the extremists right now, the extreme Democrats, the extreme Republicans, the extreme left, the extreme right. You people are going to drive us into the ground. And before you know it, and before it's all said and done, all their goals are going to be accomplished. You're going to be a jobless little serf sitting at home waiting on your allowance. Is that what you want? Do you people really think I'm some kind of alt writer? Do you? Just because I understand history and I don't like what's going on right now? Do I look like a classic alt writer to you? Take a good look. There is one ultimate maxim in history. One. And we're about to gleefully do it all over again. We're just going to sleepwalk right into it. And there's nothing I can do to stop it.